Hey, this is Chris from Cinti Studios. Today we'll be looking at how to remap the textures of our models in Blender, and we'll be using the Polygon Ancient Empires pack to do this. As you can see here, we already offer a variety of alternate materials you can use with our packs, but this tutorial will give you everything you need to modify the look of our assets to suit your game. So to get started, we'll bring this door into Blender. So to do that, you want to head to the Models folder, and show an Explorer, just to give us the directory. And then if we open up Blender, and go File, Import, FBX, paste the directory of our models folder. We'll grab the name of our model. Then back in Blender, we paste it into the search and we can import. You can see with our viewport shading on, we don't have a texture applied to our door. So to fix that, if we head to shading, make sure our door is selected. Then we'll head back to Unity and look for the folder where our textures are. The same as before. If we right click, show an explorer, and we can copy out the directory. And if we head back into Blender, clicking the open icon, then we'll paste the directory in that we copied out earlier. Look for our texture. In this case, it's the Polygon Ancient Worlds Texture 01A and open. And you can see our texture is applied to the model. So to get started with remapping, if we head to UV editing, and to do any of the remapping, we obviously need our texture in here. So now that we've already assigned it in the shading tab, from the drop down box, we should have our texture in here. If it's not in the drop down box for you, then click open, find your texture open image and it should show for you in here. As you can see it's quite easy to modify the look of the assets so in this case here we have a nice copper looking door. If we compare that to the original see it just has a little bit more detail just to make it pop or you may have a treasure room where you want a nice blingy looking door. You may be after some more mild changes and nothing as extreme as these two examples here but it just gives you an idea of the different looks you can achieve just by tweaking the UVs of the model. So to get started editing this door, if we left click and we hit tab on the keyboard to go into edit mode, so we want to select the face that we want to modify the color of. So just as an example, we'll left click this face here and in our UV editing tab on top of our texture, we'll have the face here, which we can use the arrows just to move it around. And you can see in this instance, it spans across multiple colors on the texture. So that's how we achieve this look. And we can use the arrows to go left and right, up and down, or in the circle, we can just freely move it around on top of the texture. So depending on what you're trying to achieve, the method you use may vary. So if we look at this door, the colors are really similar. We go back into edit mode, and then we hit A to select all of the faces. You can see here all the faces available on top of the texture. So if we're just trying to change a general theme of the door, we can just select the individual faces and drag them around. If we go back to object mode, you can see here, it's pretty easy just to change the general color of the door. And the same thing applies if we were to look at this side here. So this will control all of our hinges and our door knocker. So just general changes like that are quite quick and efficient to do. After the last Blender video, another method that was pointed out by the community is the L shortcut on your keyboard. So if we have a look here, you can see the hinge is a separate part of the door. So if we hover over top and we press L on the keyboard, it'll select the hinge. If we do the same over the door, it'll select the entire door. So that's an easy way just to isolate a separate part of the door. You can select multiple, so we've got the one there selected. If we move up over top of the other hinge here, the same again, hover over top, press L. Now we have both of them selected. And then we could just move them around. Same thing applies to areas like the door knocker here. So just over top of one of the faces and hit L on the keyboard. So as you can see here, it's selecting by seam. So although it is all one individual mesh when you take it into Unity, when it's in Blender, this is separate from the door. And then we can just move this around. Another option we have, if we hover over top of an area of the door and we hit L on the keyboard and we go to UVs, this will give us the option to make some extra modifications to the door for some of the areas that share the same UV. So if we just want to change, say, these inside parts of the door, we can then go around, select them all. And as you can see here, they're all in the same location for the UVs. So it makes modifications like that quite easy to do. So once you're happy with what you've got, I'll just export our nice multicolored door here, just as an example. We go File, Export. FBX into our models folder. It's always a good idea to keep a backup, but just for this example, I'll just override what I've got and then we'll go export FBX. 
And then jumping back into Unity, you can see our modified door. Hope you found the tutorial useful. If there is anything specific that you want to see more of, then let us know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel to keep up to date with all of our new videos, or check out our community Discord, the link is in the description.